What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, I've been really busy this week, so this is the reason why you haven't seen any videos in the beginning of the week. But I have, like, two to three videos of the moon back-to-back, -back, so stay tuned for those. Now, we have Sarah Michelle to thank for this, so I'm sure you subs will appreciate that. Thank you very much, Sarah. We've been going back and forth through email. Now, she sent me to this site, and I told you guys this last video um, that we're going to use. So there's a photo I pulled off there. It's not the first one she showed me, which I'm also going to do hers as well. But I looked at this one. It's on page 37 of the site. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see it right here is the moon as viewed by lunar orbiter. And guess what? Look at this. Publication date, January 1st, 1970. That's right, folks. These go back quite far. Now, on the right-hand side, you can see it right here. It says next, right? You want to click that until you can get to page 37 of 162. Now, if you read this, it says southern zone in the middle of the far side. And, of course, it gives the coordinates. And it says this region is unusual in the extent to which depressions are flooded with dark mare material. I flag BS on this because this has been censored. Maybe in an old school way, like in airbrushing. Or, like I said, they'll take photos. Like, you see the one on the left and the right. They're super bright. Uh, one has been kind of uh, turned. You can see that they are the same photos, but in a different view, different angle. Now... They can simply take a very highly exposed photo and then take one that's dropped down as far as brightness. So this way here, they have the really good photos for themselves. And by highly exposing a photo, they can actually hide this pretty easy. Like if they're using a white paint or whatever they want to blend it or block out whatever they want, right? And you're going to see what I mean. These areas in these craters that are dark, that's manipulation. Let's get into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this for you guys. And I'm going to show you each thing. This... There's something pretty interesting in both of these photos. The top one has more in it. Let's jump right into that. Okay, this is the first one. This is untouched. I just rotated it for you guys. Look at this mess here on the right-hand side. I'm going to show you that right here. Completely airbrushed, guys. Completely airbrushed. All of this right here, this white mess right here. Absolute crap. What I want you guys to look at is the stuff we can see, or at least pretty darn close. Now, I want everybody to get out their magnifiers because this is pretty interesting when you see this. Now, the first thing I want to show you right here in the middle, they try to really block this stuff out, and they did a great job because it blends in with everything. Okay, let's zoom in right here. Structures, guys. Structures on the moon. Far side of the moon. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Here as well. Look inside here. There are other structures. So what we're going to do is we're going to balance this. We're going to take away the color, and we're going to brighten this up for you guys. Now... Let's make it a little clearer, okay? Check this out. Here, here, okay? Now, let me show you something else that's pretty interesting. You want to pay close attention to the way the lunar surface is laid out. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's move over to here. Look at this right here. On the edge of this crater, look at these actual shapes. Things that look like have been constructed. Something coming down into the actual crater floor. Look at the shapes of this right here, especially. Check that out. Flatten the area and look at the shapes of these things. Look at this, guys. Right? Check that out. There it is cleared up for you guys. And whatever this thing's going down to, you can actually see other shapes down in here. Like there's something more in this crater. Now, there's something else over here. Wait, do you see this? This is cool too. The way they're kind of like intertwined and over these other parts of the lunar surface. Is that normal? I don't think so. Okay. We got this piece right here. Looks like you can see what looks like a straight line. What is this piece coming up and over and off like this here? It looks like it's got an overhang, like almost if, like it was a crane of some sort. You guys see that? Right there. What is that? Cool, cool stuff here. There you go. Check that out. Almost looks like it has this dark piece right here. And look at the way that thing overhangs and looks like a flat area right here. See that? And if you look closely, and I can just see this now, right here. Let's say something's doing this. I'm going to show you this a little bit better. Looks like it's rounded, and this thing's coming right out of a base, coming up, and there this thing is. 
Okay. If it's not some kind of crane of some sort, what is it? Because when I look at that, I don't see that as natural, guys. Again, look at the base of this right here. Look at the very faint line right there at the end of that arrow. There is something else that they try to take out. Okay. This has been completely messed with in here, but you can see some stuff like this. Okay. Something right there. And we're going to try to make heads and tails of this. Also in here. Check this out. One, two. There are parts in here, guys, or something in here, but they completely blasted this right out. Definitely been censored in one form or another. See that? All right. Let me show you the bottom photo, because this is also pretty neat. Something right smack dab in the middle of this crater, guys. What could this possibly be? What is that smack dab in the middle of this crater? Now, I want you to look at this carefully. Okay. Let me go ahead and make this a little smaller. I have a paintbrush here. Just a hair bit smaller. It appears to be doing this. Okay. And it is on some kind of a base standing off the ground. You guys see that? Now, let me clear it up a little bit. Check this out. Clearly, that's not a mountain or something that has hit this, meaning a rock, an impact rock that hit the center of that crater and, and made this crater. Also, take note of something right here. You can see it outlined right here, very faintly. Okay, and check out this black circle, but it also has a whiter piece in his circle. Check that out. See that? Very faint. They painted this all. They can simply block it out. It also looks like there's something right there also doing the same thing. Almost similar to this piece right here. Check that out. It's got a shadow underneath it, but it's been completely blacked out. Now, it makes you wonder, why would they leave this thing in here? Maybe they're thinking that these people will think, oh, it's just nothing there. It's just crap. Um, and they'll just take a quick look over it and that'll be the end of it, right? Now, check this out. Again, we're looking at land masses. It simply makes no sense. Right here in the bottom. Look at the shapes here. Okay. Is that normal? Is that natural? I don't believe that it is. Just the actual pieces in here, again here. Look at the way this thing goes like this. And it appears to go underneath this one, right here. It appears to go up and under this other piece on top. The, gr <laughs> the ground tells all, guys. Look at this. Even in this crater here. Look at the way these things appear to almost go under the lip of this crater. Or do they just utilize these craters to make structures into them, under them, whatever it is. To be honest with you guys, I think we'd be actually freaked out if we actually seen the way this stuff was built. Let me clear this up a little bit. And there you go. Check this out. So this is the actual photo right here. And all I did was clear it up. I didn't do any modifications to this. Didn't do any uh, enhancements. Here's another area. Check this out. On the rim of this crater, what are we looking at here? Seems to stop right there, but check this out. Has what look faint dots right here. And you'll see this better. Round pieces right here all happen to be in a row. Right here. And you can see them going right across. And then like they're positioned in a way like it's radius in the front here. It's really strange if you ask me. Here you go. To me, guys, this is not natural. We have centering right here. Again, we have this area right here. And I love the way this thing here does this. You can see right here, it literally has what looks like a fork in it right there and branches off. We have things that are underneath other pieces. I don't believe this is natural, guys. And we also have this right here. Look at the shape of this thing coming out like this here. A dark area right here. You guys see that? Let me blur it up here and then hit it back with the clear. There you go. Now, let's jump into the enhanced part of this. Okay. 
Let's jump into the top. Okay, let's center on these little structures first of all. Now what I do is I lighten up this area like I told you guys I would. This whole area right here. Look at the little pieces in here. Check that out. Okay, let's jump over to here. Again, we have this mess right here completely centered out. Look at this. This is crazy. All right. Let's go over to here. Just check this stuff out, guys. Have a look at it. Here's the middle section again, right here. Right here. Look at this thing. They literally took something out that's on this base. This, you can see it's got a shadow right here. And what they do is they just block that completely out. But look at the rest of the ground. And look how perfectly round that is right there. Another one right here. Now, I'm not sure if they blocked it out themselves. But look at the way this thing literally goes down into this crater. And look at the actual ground, the construction, if you will, of a base. It's, a, it's literally a base here. What are we looking at here, guys? Now, let's do this. Let me back out. Now, you can see I've taken the color off here because they are actually colored photos, by the way. Here it is right here. There's that other piece right there. Now, let's go fully into this. And have a better look. There you go, guys. Check this out. Now, is that natural? I don't think so. Just the way these actual squares rectangular pieces stuff like that and i did shop in a little bit it does get a little grainy and i'm trying to avoid that but check this other stuff out in the back here got this u-shaped kind of object right there okay now i try to bring out this here right there something right here now this is so vague it's hard to even see right there let me cut back on some of the sharpness right there and again right there those structures okay here's this area right here now i was able to get a hair bit more out of it but take note of the little structures down here when i say little they're probably not very little Check this out. To me, that's not natural. And I think you guys will agree with that. Um, these are actually structures. Look at this down in this crater. We have what looks like two domes here. Right here. At least it looks that way, right? See that? Shopping it up. And guys, I'll give you the photo. When you see this stuff in here, you're just going to go, I mean, seriously, how does that happen? How do you have land masses that do that? Um, you would expect it to be flat. Now, of course, you would see mountains and ridges and, you know, mounds and all that other crazy, crazy stuff. You see craters, of course. Um, this is the kind of stuff you expect to see. Not this. Not this area right here. And again, they blotched out something right here. You can see this right there. And it's got a shadow just under it. And you can see it has a narrow piece like that one, what looks like a spacecraft or some kind of structure inside this crater. See that? All right. Let's drop down to the bottom here. And there's that, what looks like a spacecraft or some kind of structure sitting right smack dab in the middle of this crater. Okay. And you can see I try to bring this piece out right here. It almost looks like they scribbled something like this to try to block out what's right here. But clearly, there's something there. And it almost has like this stop sign shape right here. And it's got this black circle type thing. You guys see that? What that is, I have no clue what that is. But you can see this, this wall has got some decent height to it. And you can see what looks like things inside there. What could that stuff be? Okay. All right. Let's bounce over to this one here. This is the original crater photo as I showed over here on the left. 
Let's bring it down. Guys, check that out. What is that? What is that? Clearly, this is not natural. We can see that. The chance of something doing this right on the edge of this crater wall is almost well, like a million to one. Look at this. Clearly, you can see it. It's almost like it's made into the, the rim of this, or it's not even a crater at all. But you can see where it looks like it, this wall goes like this and goes right underneath the lip of the top pot here. I, I think we'd really be freaked out if we actually saw what's really on this moon. I, I think we really would be. Because they probably don't build like anything we've ever seen. Right? Now, obviously, we could see things like this area here. We could build ground that looks like that. In other words, roadways, you know, different pieces of land. We can design it the way we want, so on and so forth. But check out the way this thing does this. Is that normal? Something looks like it drops down here. This continues to go on like this underneath. And check this thing out. Look at the... <laughs> I love the way this thing's designed. This is cool. You've got this space down here. Got a piece like this here. The only way to say this, guys, this is designed. It's as simple as that. We've got pieces that look like it comes from this level and goes up to this one here. Go, you can see it continues on like that there. You see that? Yeah. Check that out. To me, these are bases. Everybody's always said, well, you know, I think this base is on the moon. Um, I believe there's something there that should not be. And they're absolutely correct. And these photos actually show it. There it is. Right there. And again, here. Right here. Of course, you guys be the judge. Let me know what you think. You know, it makes more sense they'd have more bases on the other side of the moon because you can't see them. If they're coming and going, they could be leaving from the back, coming and going, coming. You would never see them come into it. Because they could just come in way from a distance and just come in through the backside, never even know they're there. Or is it that they live on the moon and they don't have to come and go? They just literally live on the moon. Nobody would see them. It just makes sense, right? So let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment and your thoughts below. Please like and share as always. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. It's always appreciated. You guys know that. And like I said, I've got two other uh, photos that uh, Sarah and I have been going back and forth with where she showed me something and I found something not only is her work cool, but we also found something else on this uh, moon photo. So check that out too. And I'll show you that. There's a series of ones I had done. We had going back and forth. And then I showed her something really cool. So stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, guys, also have other Mars videos coming up as well as uh, like about two or three of these here for the moon. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.